Alrighty, where am I? Right here, Alyssa. I've got your work up right here. I was reading your, your writing, and that's great. It sounds like you didn't have too much difficulty here. Um, so that, that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look. I've got both the banner ad and the magazine ad, so we can take a look at both to determine the consistency and the cohesive nature of the campaign as a whole. I think the banner, the web, the web ad looks fantastic. Uh, really, really nice job here. Very clean, very inviting, uh, great hierarchy. It's really easy and inviting, and, and I think it's fantastic. So good job. One recommendation here would be to uh, reduce the size of the, the address right there, especially the fact that there's a, a line between each of the lines of information. There's a space. So I would eliminate that space. I would take the, the drinks and move them up so they're not obstructing the address. And then I would just present that address in white so it's a little bit more visible. Okay, fantastic work there. Let's go ahead and jump over to the banner ad. Now, the banner ad, I think, is a wonderful adaptation um, of the magazine ad. But there's a couple of things, I think, that aren't working. And I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and address those right now. Um, the first and most obvious thing is the fact that the... Um, masked image from assignment 2-1 has not been placed in this and it's required to so make sure you place that masked image uh, the next thing i would recommend is to check the um, actual rubric so in the rubric it states that uh, you're going to enhance the call to action by using some basic photoshop animation technique that's the call to action that's the promotional offering right now you've got uh, the headline and subheads animated but you don't have the call to action animated. For that reason, I recommend you keep the uh, call, the headline and subhead static, no animations there, and animate the couples receive 10% off our romance package. And instead of blinking that in and blinking it out, fade it in and fade it out. It'll give a much more relaxed demeanor um, for the ad itself. Um, I would move that up to about here. I would take that logo, move it down, increase the size of the logo, place it right there. Okay, escape. You've got escape to romance, stay, uh, save, stay, and treat yourselves. I would keep that set up right there, where escape to romance is all on the same line, and then the subhead is all on the same line. The whole thing is left the line. I would do that right here. I would escape to romance right here, then underneath it, left the line, I would add that save, stay, and treat yourself and i would remove the stroke from that type uh if you want to know the reasons why it's not um advantageous to stroke type go ahead and take a look at the announcements area where i have included an announcement um in that regard describing why why stroking type is not always the best well very 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 rarely the the, the best decision to make uh, my final recommendation, of course, would be to add the location. You don't have to include the entire contact information, just the location. So, uh, you know, logo is going to be down here. Animation is going to be right there. Headline here. Subhead here. Maybe right down here you can say located in beautiful U.S. Virgin Islands or something like that. Just to allow the viewer to know exactly where the, the uh, uh, resort is located. All right. Great job. If you have any, those, I, I'd like to see those changes made for your final submission. But um, that's coming up next week. So if you want to go ahead and make those changes and run it by me, that'd be great. But I would like to see those changes. I think it'll really, really clean things up and uh, add a nice, nice uh, consistency to the campaign. All right, great job. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.